that the Lakers won this impressively without LeBron? Well, I, you know, as long as AD was on the floor, I wasn't necessarily worried about the point spread. But I think for some reason, they're showing you that when AD or LeBron's not playing, that they're capable, the rest of the unit is capable of stepping up. Absolutely. Now you got Rui Hachimura now, 36 points. He averaged 12 on a year. LeBron averages 25. So if you do the math, you just plug him in. He, he takes up that LeBron space because he's getting more opportunities. Yeah. Mm. And that's the same thing that happened with, with Boston, where all of a sudden, these guys, when we play Boston, LeBron and AD not there, other opportunities right. are coming. Now, all of a sudden, D'Angelo Russell, what did Russell have last night? 17 assists. He has 17 assists, <laughs> 11, but he's facilitating. Where now you're taking those passing that LeBron normally would get on an assist side Bingo. and handing them off yep. to D'Angelo. Yep. So they're showing that they could play without these guys in certain stretches of, of uh, stretches of games against opponents without the two big stars being on the floor. Although AD did contribute last yeah. night in a big way, but that's what he's been doing all year long. Yeah. I just, you know, they won six of the last seven. They're off until after the All-Star break. They, they got something if they could just keep it going in this direction. You know, I gave them a seven last year, uh, last yesterday. Mm -hmm, on your confidence. On the confidence yeah. meter. Yeah. On whether or not they can contend for an NBA championship. Yep. It stays there. Let's see what they do after the All-Star break. You know, when, when we talk about this, we talk about opportunities. And, and, and we were talking about it before we came on. And how those role players step up when that opportunity arrives. Because we talked about it in Boston. We're talking about it again now. You wound without LeBron you, when you step up. And it is. It's always like one guy. Last night was Hodgson Moore put in 36 points. One of the guys step up. D. Law, D. Russell, D'Angelo Russell, he'll step up and put in, he'll play well. Austin Reeves, they'll step up, put in 25 30. Now, D. Russ average 50, D. Russ and Austin Reeves average around 15, 16, 17 points a game. What I thought is if you can just get one of these role players to consistently move up his role and give you nah, 22 points a game, 24 points a game, now you have something. We know at the deadline, that's what the Lakers were going for. They were going for them with the third star, somebody else to come in. They have them in house. They just have to consistently be that third star. And, and okay, why is it you so big and bright when the brightest light is not on the court, but then you get so small when it does, while you're confident? So I, I just want to see it all come together. It all come together, and they put it all together with LeBron and AD and these role players. Whichever one of those, because we're talking about those three, really. We're talking about those guys. You know, whichever one of them gets consistently step up and play like this all the time, then the Lakers may have a shot. Mm. So far be it for me. The last thing I'm going to do is suggest the Lakers would be better without LeBron James because they would no. not be better without LeBron James. But last night was fun to watch because all these younger players played like kids in a candy store. They were having fun last <coughs> night. Rui was laughing all the way to the sideline huddles because he was out of his mind hot. Austin Reeves was hot. Everybody contributed. D'Lo was having fun distributing the basketball. It's a very talented roster. Last night was why I picked this team with no hidden agenda to win it all because well, it has, no, there's no hidden agenda. I, I like this roster that Rob Polinka assembled and I loved his move on the buyout market of adding Spencer Dinwiddie. You saw him for mm -hmm. years in Dallas. He Dallas, they call him Win Diddy. Huh? They like him when so much. Did he? Oh, okay. When did he? Right. Do, boy, do you remember? My boy calls him. Yeah, Alex. Okay, there you go. Game seven uh, against Phoenix. Do you remember this in the conference semifinal? I'm going back two years ago. Spencer yeah. Win Diddy, Din Witty. Yeah, right. He right. scored 30 points right. in, in a game seven against Phoenix, and they went to Phoenix and blew them out in a shocker to me. My Please point hold, is man. I've told you before. Rui can flat out play NBA basketball. He's a little underconfident. He's he needs 
his button pushed and Darwin pushed his button last night and said, I want you to go out there and just go crazy. Just let it fly. Yeah, but see, when because LBJ get back on the that's floor, the though, problem. You're not that's gonna, it. You're that's not, correct. He's not going to get 19 shots. Okay, I got it. He's not going to get him. But, but it helped last night that he felt like I, I can do this mm -hmm. at a high level. He can defend at a high level because Keyshawn, he's got an NBA body yeah. that won't oh, yeah. quit. Mm -hmm. And he has uh, some dog in him, that dog defensive mentality. He will fight for you. He will fight you if you want to fight back. <laughs> and last night, his stroke is good. He, he is fearless. And I never see him get his shot blocked. And I, I got to show you one shot that he made just took my breath away. Uh, against um, uh, that Walker Kessler, the seven-footer for Utah, who's fourth in the league in blocks. If we could see a shot he made, this is 6.25 uh, left in the fourth quarter. He gets him down on the baseline. And th this is a seven-footer. He says, no, 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 I, I, I'll, I'll just do this. I'll do this, and I'll fade away on you. And he still couldn't block it. <coughs> That's an NBA shot. Against Denver last year in the conference finals, Rui played big all four games. He played well. He kept them in, in contention all the way deep into all those games. And then I keep telling you about D'Angelo Russell. He has all-star offensive talent. I'm not saying he's an all-star, but you watch his skills with the basketball. He's a borderline hey, all-star. He's, he's yeah, right yeah, there. He's right. And he'll have nights right. where you say, that could be an all-star, right? And you see it in both ways. Like you last do. night, he goes he, with he, the assist. He, and when sometimes he, he comes he, in and he, scores. He goes both ways. When he goes, right. right. Tarian Prince, Darvin Ham loves him. But, but he's, he's a battler on defense, so he starts to, to lock down on defense. Austin Reeves, you've never been quite sold on him. And then he makes a shot with four minutes left last night that was just the dagger shot because Utah kept saying, okay, here we come, here we come. This is Austin Reeves. Tell me this isn't an NBA shot. He just says, oh, really? I'll just rise up on you and fall away. He can do that. He, he can do that consistently because he's not afraid to do that. But it's different when LeBron's on the floor because you have to – he's the leading scorer in the history of basketball. So you have to let him run the show and shoot the shots that he wants to shoot yes, because that he's, that, he's earned that right, that obviously. That's the most obvious thing I've ever said in the history of this show. But it gets a little more complex trying to play with LeBron because the younger players are like, should I or shouldn't I? The flow is not quite the same with him on the floor. That may be the case. Yeah. That may be the case, Skip. But I'm not going to give Rui Hachimura 19 shots with LeBron James on the floor. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. But sometimes you can give him 14 or 15 shots if he's cooking, because when he's cooking, he can really cook. He's if, got he's, a, if he's cooking yeah. with LeBron on the floor and AD on the floor, that means that they're probably cooking too. That is correct. So, yeah. you know, you, it, it, it's hard on Doran Ham to understand or try to figure out the combination and how he wants Ooh. to run things with LeBron and AD. Yep. Because evidence has shown us when one of those guys are not on the floor, the other guys step up and play. Right, right. That, that's it's shown. But, but they can't lead the Lakers to an NBA final mm -hmm. without LeBron and right. AD. No. They just, right. They just, oh, obviously right. not. And so, so the question becomes... Okay, then, then, okay, now the question becomes this, because you, you just said it, Key. They can't lead the Lakers. LeBron has to lead the Lakers. Yeah. And, and when, when you say lead, I'm imagining you're not just talking about the scoring and assists. You're also Everything talking that he about comes with. leading the players. Yeah. Now, we've had these discussions about the leadership ability of LeBron or Jordan, the leadership style of a LeBron in a Jordan. And I thought, you know, LeBron here, who's more, you know, with the player instead of behind pushing the player, would be a better leader with these kinds of guys. So why are we not getting this kind of play out of these guys no. all the time no. under LeBron? You remember we talked well, about six six Jordan. Seven. I don't know if they can deal with Jordan. Jordan too hard on him. But but why, you know, LeBron is a great leader. He's a great, you know, great guy to watch, great guy to be around. I just, I just, it was just interesting to me that, that we'll see this with him not on the but floor. But, Michael, they did. why we don't see it all the time. They just won six or seven. Yeah, I know. LeBron James is part of this seven. Of course. And Anthony of course. Davis is part of this seven. No of doubt. Course. But we keep talking about when, they, when one of them don't play and how well they do play. And I'm just saying, man, it'd be great if they can do that all the time. You but just, it's, hard, it's hard to do that. Yeah. With both of those guys on the floor. It's just hard. Yeah. Because LeBron needs his touches. AD needs his touches. 
LeBron is the offense is set up through him. He's a facilitator. You're not going to get 17 assists from from D'Lo with LeBron on the floor. It's just not going to happen. He may give you 12. He may give you 10. Well, true, but he true. sure ain't going to give you 17. LeBron no. has to capitulate some of all of his personal accolades to get these guys but going not, during but it's the not, regular it's season not, so they have that. where they need them in the postseason. But, it, but it's not personal accolades and stuff like that. Well, it's, well he's the it's, all-time leading it's, scorer. It's, it's I got to give Michael Irvin the football even though I got somebody else over here that could potentially do the same thing. Correct. I'll be a damn fool not to give you the football. I'll be crazy. Yeah. I will be crazy not to. And that's the same thing with LeBron. These young kids, I don't know what game it was, Skip, we were watching. And I said to you, uh, Colin uh, crossed the uh, half-court line. Mm -hmm. He had the free lane. You take it, LeBron. He just gave it to me. I was sitting there saying, man, you got... Why don't you just go to the lane? They left it wide open for you. Mm. But that's what happens when you're dealing with LeBron James. Right. So, yeah. so we're saying the same thing in this sense. I'm saying you're saying they're playing afraid or, yes. or, or capitulating, and I'm saying I need LeBron to bring the best out of them. Go and point to their dogs and tell them how great they are and lift, lift them up. So well, he does that, that especially with Reeves. He lets Reeves all. know you're I'm the guy. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Last quick point. We had the report yesterday, Golden State interested in trading for LeBron because the word was out. Word Maybe out. the hourglass Ooh. had run out Ooh. on LeBron in Los Angeles. And I told you, as, as we hear that LeBron doesn't want to be traded, he has a better chance winning a championship with Anthony Davis than he would with Steph and Draymond. And if you want to throw Clay in there or whatever, depending on whatever the trade would have to be, it's Anthony freaking Davis. And I believe our man Lil Wayne could go down as the unsung MVP this year for calling out Anthony Davis because ever since that call out right here on this show, Anthony Davis has balled out because he, listen, last night, 37 and 15. I, I mean, and, and he gets to the free throw line 13 times, which he doesn't, there have been games when he'll shoot two free throws. He is Man. inspired. Man. He is playing with energy and emotion on a nightly basis. And if mm. he does, he's a top five player. Wait, wait, wait. I know we got to go, but I just don't know if I can concur with that conclusion. Man, do you know LeBron is Steph would be? That big fake freight train going to the basket, and you got to you gotta pay attention to it. And he kicks out to a Steph. Oh, on the three. Oh, man. No. That would be no. scary. No. That could be scary. No. Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis. I understand. He's an aircraft crazy right now. I understand what you're saying. And he's a big on both ends of the floor, though, Michael. You got to remember, he's a big on both ends of the floor. Steph on the other end of the floor at times can be a little bit of a liability. He can be. Depending on what guard they're going up against. Absolutely. And Michael. And you're talking defensive style. I'm talking about offensive style. But I was going to say, AD is not. Steph can be a liability depending on the guard. AD is not a liability depending on the big. No matter who the big is, he's not a liability. No. So there's where – no. there, I know, I, I get it. We love Steph. Big boy in Denver. I know, but no, nah, the big boy in Denver, AD can play against him. Hey, he's yeah, had some big yeah, games against yeah, him. Yeah, absolutely. Big games. He's played against him, boy. I'm All right, you, up next, Tom Brady unloads about his issues with Bill Belichick. <laughs> Wait a minute. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.